In last video, we learned about basics of binary search tree. In this video, we will learn about what are the different ways to traverse a binary search tree. Tree traversal is a process of visiting each node of tree at max one. There are three types of traversals of BST. Those are in order traversal, pre order traversal, and post order. Let's understand what is in order traversal of BST. In in order traversal, before visiting a node, one must visit all the nodes in its left subtree. Once in order traversal of left subtree is done, visit the node and then do in order traversal of right subtree. Order of visiting of nodes in in order traversal is left node, the node, and right. If I take an example of this tree to visit. 30 we have to first visit its left subtree that is this tree before visiting 30 so the in order traversal of above tree will be something like this we go to 30 since there is a left subtree which is rooted at 20 we need to traverse that left subtree first before we traverse 30 so we go down to node 20 and check whether there is a left subtree of 20 Yes, there is a left subtree of 20 with node 10. So we do go down to node 10 and see if there is a left subtree of node 10. Since the left child of node 10 is null, there is no subtree there. Hence, we can print node 10. Now we come up and go towards the right side of node 10. Is there any node onto the right hand side of node 10? No. So we'll just move back to node 20. Now since left subtree of 20 has been printed, we'll print 20 here. Now we move to right side of node 20, where we encounter node 22. Is there a left subtree of node 22? No. So we will print node 22 as such. Moving back up at node 20, we have printed the left subtree of 20 node itself and the right subtree of 20 so we will move up to the parent that is node 30 and since the left subtree of node 30 has been already printed we can print 30 and move towards the right subtree of 30 we go to node 37 is there left subtree of node 37 yes 35 is there so we move down to the left subtree is there a left subtree of node 35? No, because there is left child of 35 is null. So we will print down 35. Now since the left subtree of 37 is printed, we can print 37. Is there any right child of 37? Yes. So we move down towards the right hand side and we move to node 40. Is there a left subtree of node 40? No. So we'll print 40 and is there a right child of node 40? No. So we'll stop here. So this is the in order traversal of a binary search tree. If you notice the in order traversal of a binary search tree gives us a sorted order of elements. Let's see the implementation of this. If you look at the procedure before visiting the root left subtree needs to be traversed in order and then root is visited and at last, right subtree is traversed in, in order. So what are we doing at the complete tree at the node 30? We are repeating the same process as node 20 also and we are repeating the same process as node 10. So what we are doing at the complete tree needs to be done onto the left subtree and the right subtree. This is the classic case of recursion. For recursion, there needs to be a base case. In this case, what will be the base case? The traversal needs to stop when the node is null because if null tree is entered into the traversal we will not do anything but, but will return from the function so that will work as a base case for our traversal till the time node is not null we will go on traversing the tree the recursive implementation is very simple this is in order implementation now let's see how it works the first call of this in order for this tree will be in order 30. So we go in this function root is not null that node 30 is not null. 
so we go down and we'll again call the same function in order root of left so the next call will be in order 20 now we come down root is not null we go down in order root of left again so the function call was with root 20 so the left child will be root 10 so the next call of in order will be with root 10 now we come here again with root 10 a root is not null so we go down in order root of left point at this point our node is null so still we'll call it in order with null we come down to this function in order root is now null then this statement is true hence we will return from the function from here where would we land we will be landing at this step in this case the root is now 10 because the root left was called so that is returned now so the root is 10 now so we'll print that and the root 10 will be printed and again in order will be called with roots right that means 10's right which is again null so we'll call in order again with null so it will again return from here at from this step and we'll fall down of the function and we will return to this in order is now finished we'll return to in order traversal of 20 and we will hit here so at this point print node will print node 20 and it will call this instruction that is in order root of right and root of right now is 22 so here in order will call with 22 now root is not null so we'll go come down in order root of left will be passed and in this case roots left that is node 22's left is null so we'll go on the top of the function and we'll be returning from this step once we are back we'll be printing the node 22 and going towards the right child of 22 which is again null when null is passed in this in order function it will be returning this and will fall out of the function and 22 is printed now this whole invocation of in order is complete so we'll go to in order of 30 so in order of 30 will come here it will print node 30 and it will go towards the in order root of right that means right child of 30 that is 37 so in order of 37 will be called it is not null so we will call root in order with root that is 37 left similarly once 35 is printed 37 will be printed and 40 will be printed so this is the execution of this function.